Yes, you're welcome to the balanced diet of Teletimid this early morning. And then thanks to GBK for the important gist which you don't give us. Now, Lake Chad is on the threat and extinction. We need to be very, very careful. All right, now we don't enter another one we consign children because right now we don't get statistics where they talk about 7 million children, especially disabled in this one, no get the best or the, the accurate or appropriate environment for them to learn accordingly. Now, they talk say even out of the 10 million children where they're out of school for inside Nigeria, up to 50% of this of this number uh, right now are not disabled children. And sometimes to even diagnose these children properly, now one of the major we get, we'll get for inside our country. And that's why we get some gadget guests in the building right now. We'll go check them out on top special needs children for inside our country. Now we get um, one young lady when I advocate for children with special needs, she also get passion for children waiting inside this category. Her name is Messi Onyebuna. Good morning, Messi. Good morning, ma'am. And we get um, Jacob Mark Wayne, a behavioral specialist where they specialize in integrating children with special needs into the society. This one means they, in they try to make the children they independent so that they fit to live their lives and even they fulfilled also for inside this our country. Welcome, Mark Jacob. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you in the house. Now, looking at the statistic where Luchi just been come out, it's so alarming to know that 50% of dropout kids now those where get special needs. Now, first of all, make we identify those children with special needs. Who are they? Good. Um, my name, as you said, my name is Jacob Mark. Um, we work with children we get us uh, we deep special. The word special, many people they fear say ah, because that word special they somehow. So we may say then they complete, they get the normal headway person gets, get leg. But the issue be say, they feel do other things with children they do. But within the day we say they go give them more time to do their own work. So they take a longer time compared to the normal children in terms of activities where they're supposed to do within the okay, age. Okay, now, I put you they talk, there are children where they complete, they are okay, they are not disabled in any form. Physically. Physically, but they get learning disability. Yes. Oh. In the sense that some of them, their attention span, they do very little. Yes. And, and some of them, they're not able to concentrate for school. Yes. So these are the things we, we need to look on and work on on part of them. All right, so for you now, we be, you be advocate for children with special needs. How you they take manage on it? Because for me, I know say I don't deal with picking where we be special need, and I found it difficult communicating with them because I don't even understand what they they try let me know, and I don't know how to even tell them what I want to make them do. So how you take gather this passion to okay. handle them? Um, for my side, that's where our magazine comes in, Flawless Heart Magazine. It's all about information. If you know. You will know how to react when you face situations like that. It's all about understanding. These people or these children actually respond in a different way. They respond. That is the very, very important thing. They respond, but we need to know how the processes. Now, this magazine is something that opens us to the world of special needs. We get to see different conditions, different disorders on different levels. Most of the time, the magazine too doesn't just focus on Down syndrome, cerebral palsy. It also goes into the hearing disabilities, visual disabilities, and, and so many more, even down to the parents too with children of disabilities. Because somehow, somehow, whether they like it or not, they are affected. Mm -hmm. So we actually focus on every area about special needs. So for me, I see it as a cause worthy to fight for. I know, that definitely in our course, way they were there to fight for. Let me talk to the behavioral um, experts now. How you would identify a picking way get special needs? Because I know, say, in some cases, we they see I'm a spiritual. If you're picking, they always pay for class or not, they concentrate. And parents, they actually resolve to beating up the child or sending the child for deliverance. So how you could take identify this picking? There are three basic ways you can check on. One is the socialization. You can where they play with himself, where, where. Now, if you want to interfere, won't play with her, not there, problem there. So that is one of the areas you check. Another thing, now, attention span. What's what you call the color? Attention span or concentration. Now, whereby you ask the child, go and pick that ball. Now, the time you ask the child to go and pick the ball, the, ball, the, the child did not pick the ball. Now, within 10 to 15 minutes, the child br brings the ball and says, this is the ball you were asking for. But what happened by that time, the, the previous time you asked him to bring the ball, the attention was lacking. Not that he didn't hear you, 
That is where the issues come. So you watch out for socialization, you watch out for concentration or attention span. Then the last one you watch with is called speech, expressive language skills. Although there are two types of sound in this world. One we have coherent sound, the second one we have incoherent sound. Now, coherent sound is the one that you, are, you can hear me now, I can speak and you hear me very well. But the second one is incoherent sound. It means a sound that is meaningless or useless. Now, these children make sounds. Example of that kind of sound now? Like, boo 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 Okay. Now, they are talking. Okay? But the issue is, what does it mean? That is what we should watch out. Three things, socialization, attention spam, and the speech. Now, for inside our country, for Nigeria here, do we have the right doctors or the right specialists, may I call them specialists, if we diagnose the particular disability where any picking gets? Of course, then they then plenty for outside. Really? For inside yes. Nigeria, then plenty? Then they, but the issue would be say, who should be the right one? And I think we don't even, I, I personally think, say, we not even de identify, say, this particular situation needs medical attention. We just feel that, hey, it, 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 they do like Stop that. I mean, beat them, beat them, he go, he had to go correct. Or send now, go meet this person to pray for him. So we know they identify and say, call, we need like medical help because these people in some cases are actually there, but we know they make use of their services. Now, the, the issue here is from the parents. Yeah. Good. What do I mean by the parents? You see these signs coming up. What do you do? Now, the symptoms of these ch children come at the age of one to, from one to eight months. One, one to year, a year. Eight months to, to one, eight month to one to year. year. Okay. Now, if this child, these parents could wash out these signs, they could easily identify them. Mm. But the issue here is normally they, they don't pay much attention. attention to it. And when it comes up, when that child gets to the age of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, mm -hmm. now their instincts do drop. Oh. Good. So that is why we make that a kind of awareness for them to know. Because this thing, this these parents to put their children inside the room and lock them up. They don't want yeah. their neighbors to know. They don't want anyone to know about it. Okay, and when that guy, that child gets to the age, you know, it will be out of caste. Now, yeah. I, I mean, a lot of people, a lot of um, a lot of people, we get children like this, this, this special needs children. They, some of them, they try to find out if there are schools, as many schools, because of course, this speaking, if you go to the regular school, because of your own style of learning is different and special. So now, are there so many schools? And more importantly, are these schools affordable for some of these parents? Because when they talk of normal, the average or the low class people now, we get children like this, but they, they fear, first of all, they, they hide the picking because of shame, stigma. So now, so, so that means that maybe they don't even know, say, schools day. And if those schools day, they don't even know whether they're affordable because a lot of people feel, say, this kind of school will cost. For if, kids with special yeah. needs, have special schools for yes, them? Yes, they do. Yes, they do have, they special, do have special schools. schools. Yes. Yeah. Have special As regards schools. to low attention and span, yes. you have a special school for it. Yeah, I, I, be, I be, Because I began to discussion with someone recently as regards to special needs, and they come outside and talk, say, when you identify, say, you're picking get this particular um, need, you can speak with some teachers for the schools, not a special school, and then they, go, they know what to do to bring the, the picking back. Yes, the team will say, some special schools are not well trained, so to say, mm. quotes. Now, uh, what did they be say? In special schools, there are some things that we need to avoid, especially when, you're, when you see a sign that your child has this issue. Mm -hmm. The first thing is diagnose the child. What is the issue first? Now, after you know what is wrong with the child, fine, you can get to other schools to ask, how far? Did you know about the child? Okay. Uh, do you have a special school for them? Because we are talking about special schools. There are some special schools that is not even good. They are not special, in quote. <laughs> they just use that word special and do some other things. But these children, it's better to mainstream these children in a regular school. Yes. It's better to leave them in regular in school. Regular yes, school. yes, yeah. yes. Because one thing we say, forget say we they call ourselves therapists. These children themselves be the greatest therapists for themselves, you know? Among them, they imitate themselves. They exactly, do... but some of them mm -hmm. have experienced bullying and they've experienced some form of intimidation and That's mockery. Right. We're right. going to make them, we're going to make some of them, they're timid and they'll, they'll recall more to themselves than yeah. this effect that they talk about. So. That's where sensitization actually comes in. 
Now, at the end, now we need to tell people, say, see as the matter be like this. Because if we not talk, it no go change. People go still they see those people like, with special needs, like, this one, that see, make it no come near me. Some people actually say, say if they come here, you go contact them. Now, the way we would take CM like this now for Nigeria, not just Nigeria alone, but even in Africa. You understand? So by the time we go and spread this information around, by the time we tell these people, this is the way it is. It is not the way you look at it. Some people think it's spiritual. Some people think it's, um, yeah. it's a course, mm -hmm. generational course, you get. But, but people have, giving birth to a child with special needs is not the end of the world. Now, talking about your magazine, one of the major things are to create awareness, educate the people, how people can get access to your magazine. Ah, uh, now, in magazine. Okay, it's they're e. online. So how, yes. how do they um, get, get any it? handle or any website? Yes, www.eliakimtherapy.com slash flawless hearts. Spell it, please. Eliakim is spelled E L I A K I M. Then therapy. Do I need to spell that? Too? Therapy, it's therapy. Yeah, okay. therapy.com slash flawless hearts. So if people just go Google, Google Flawless Heart Magazine, they will see them for there. Yes. All right, fantastic. Then you get any, because I know some people get so many questions where they need to ask, but because of time, your social media handle, you go to Twitter. Yes, us, um, on Facebook, media. you can get us uh, Flawless Heart Magazine. Flawless Heart Magazine yes. for Facebook. So um, for our email addresses, flawlessheartsng at gmail.com. Fantastic. So what about you, sir, in case they need to actually meet you? Yes, uh, my phone number is... Uh, no, you can just give us your Facebook um, um, name and then your okay, Instagram name. Okay, just um, Jacob Mark. Oh, Jacob it's Mark. Jacob Mark. I love yeah. your name. Anyway. <laughs> Where are you from, sir? <laughs> Ebony State. Ebony State. And you're from? Anambra State. Anambra State. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much for not coming. Thank you so much. Morning. Very educative, very informative interview we'll get with you. And um, we dare yet always support this wonderful project for special Thank needs you. children. All right. Now, so we'll see you today on top of this episode. And on top of the Waste Talk episode, on top of the morning <laughs> show this morning, we'll go there again tomorrow to give you more and more. On top of international scene, we've been Akedi. I remain the trainer, but get better day. And don't forget, say, if you're looking to get any special needs attention, then we just log on to www.eliakim. Dot com, therapy, therapy dot com, com and then you go get all the information uh, where you need to know. My name is Surumet Uvi Ehigam, so I see you again tomorrow. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.